Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Days Gone. You all know why we're here. Let me say hello to the chat. Richard Cranium, Friday Night Freaker Time. Let's do this, man. This guy is such a Richard Cranium. But that's what we like about him. Hey, bud. Uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to mispronounce this. Not on purpose. I'm not going to pronounce it. T40. Hi, T40. <laughs> freaker, freaker, freakers. Yeah. What's up, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Ryan, also my brother. How are you, man? <clears throat> shit man i ain't seen you in a minute how are you buddy uh nylon girl 92 welcome welcome and bow hunter 30 hi how have you been uh let's see also thomas porterfield is here hello tom p welcome uh good evening good evening and uh let's see secret assassin not a secret assassin okay secret assassin not a secret assassin hello hello and jess castanado what's up jess what's going on all right, so like I'm ready. Hi, welcome in everyone. Uh, if I haven't said hello to you, uh, I apologize. Pop up in the chat. We'll try to give you a little shout, and let's play some Days Gone. What I <clears throat> what I would really like to do tonight. What I want to do, I just want to play some Days Gone, right? So let's just let's hop on the bike. Let's go for a ride. Let's go tear some shit up, kill some freaks, clear some camps. I don't know. That kind of stuff, you know. The Last of Us 2 Remastered. That is actually my next game. Yep. I um I knew when they announced it that um is this even my right save? No, it's not my right save. I was like working on some stuff. Uh <laughs> it's not even the right save. I was uh working on some content and using a much later save. I hope I didn't mess up our save from this playthrough. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll have to go back before all these auto saves and stuff, and we're actually going to be somewhere right in here. I'm willing to bet. Actually, shit, I should get my calendar up, right? <laughs> See, when was the last time we were live? I'll find my current save. Alright, so Friday the 12th, that's what I was thinking. All right, and then this is where I started working on stuff. Okay, so this was our current save when we uh, shut it down uh, last Friday night. So welcome back in. Here we are. <laughs> We're actually ready to start now. Uh, yeah, The Last of Us 2 Remaster. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. I, I am. I, I mentioned, like, shoot, uh, about a month ago I was going to do that one when I heard about it. Because here's the thing is, like, I'm a little confused. I was a little confused to why they made a remaster already. Uh, Cause it was, I mean, it was alleged. It was allegedly launched as a, uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to change inputs here. I'm fiddling with my input here. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. So it when it was released, it was allegedly like a next gen game already. Uh, but I did actually read up on it just today, actually. I, I had some spare time, so I was reading on it. Uh, I had to take my kiddo to the doctor, and so uh, on the ride up there, I was uh, doing a little work, and I read up on the remaster, and they actually are, they have included quite a bit of stuff. Um, optimizations, the one I'm most excited about, I'm going to be entirely honest, the one I'm most excited about is um, improved draw distance which is cool and also increased uh like decreased load times it'll be faster load times so i'm legit excited for that that's going to be cool uh being able to play like a a next gen version of the game like actual where it's taking advantage of the faster load times on the ps5 uh that's cool uh <clears throat> excuse me uh, hey babe are you, are you busy right now? Oh, yeah, thank you, sweetheart. She's already got me covered. Here's her water. <laughs> she knew exactly what I was about to ask for. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay. All right. Thank you for bearing with me there. So we need to clear the fog in this region. And as many of you know, the best way to clear the fog in Days Gone, in my opinion is to do the ambush camps, then the infestation zones, and then the Nero checkpoints. Now, most of you are maybe tired of hearing that, but there's a reason for it. It does remove the fog, which will then populate the location of every single map. 
or I'm sorry, every single nest and neuro injector on your map here. And you can see we have an infestation zone here, but we don't see where the actual nest are. Then we also have a, well, it has identified the Nero injector here by clearing a different camp somewhere nearby. But that's why you do it is because now we know there is a Nero injector there. Once we've cleared this ambush camp up here, it will likely tell us where all of the individual nests are in this area. And that's why I like to do it that way, because I do like to clear the infestation zones. I'll be entirely honest with you, the the nest infestation zones, they bug me. So I like to go exterminate them uh, just because uh, they... Well, because they mess up fast travel. You can't fast travel through those type of zones. All right, so I really do want to... Uh, I feel like I need to rest my voice. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I, I really want to just kind of chill and play the game. Y'all want to hang out and just play some Days Gone tonight? Like, I actually want to, like, allow myself to slow down. Just slow down and enjoy it. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. Slow down, he says, while racing off on the fucking bike. <laughs> Old habits die hard, right? All right. So what I really want to do, as I'm doing all of this stuff here, I want to reach level two with Crater Lake, cause reach level two with crater lake you can unlock the bfg which is my next sniper rifle wrong button okay here we go yep let's find everybody one here one there and then two here now that one up the hill from me behind me right now at about my what five o'clock here she looks like she is still chasing a deer did another deer take off that direction or is it perhaps one of the deer that I just killed? Hmm. She's lost the scent of whatever she was tracking. I don't see any more deer. Really? Come on. Don't be shy. This is the point where a wolf runs up on you. This is like the point where they catch you monologuing. Deacon was standing here monologuing to her and she was like, Oh... I'm really surprised a wolf or a runner or a fucking rage repair didn't pop up behind me or something. All right. Oh, that, speaking of wolves, that, that was there was a fucking wolf involved right there. Uh, unless this is maybe just a corpse that's here from last time we played. This is likely just a corpse that's here from last time we played, which is crazy. That's the thing about Days Gone. And I don't know much about game design. I, I'll be entirely honest. If I'm talking out of my ass and don't know what I'm talking about, please do correct me. Uh, I would prefer to be enlightened, but my understanding is that those corpses, that wolf corpse laying on the ground there from when we played a week ago is part of the reason that Days Gone has those crashes when, or at least is like in part the cause of those crashes when you don't power cycle your PlayStation. If you're using rest mode and you're not turning your PlayStation off and back on regularly, Days Gone tends to freak out, you lose textures, things like that. My understanding of it, but though I'm not educated in these matters, what I do know or what I have been told is that uh, it, it's the shit that keeps piling up. The corpses and the various little details, they kind of keep piling up and piling up and piling up, and it eventually ends up overtaxing the system. I personally have noticed that it happens less on PC and that it happens less on PlayStation. Uh However, I generally power cycle my shit regularly, so there's that. All right. Let's go. Let's go tear some shit up, shall we? I'll catch up with the chat here in a minute. Hi, everybody. Uh, if I haven't said hello, ha <clears throat> if I have failed to say hello to anyone, I apologize. Welcome. Come hang out. Let's play some days gone. There is an infestation zone that way. That is where we're headed. I saw a sniper. Oh, well, obviously there's one right there. Duh, don't stop. <laughs> yeah. 
I thought that was just like your roadside ambush snipers who always like, uh, what what is it? What's the term? 360 no scope? <laughs> oh, is that? Hey, he's got some meat for me there. Uh, well, we have the executioner skill, so perhaps we can get an actual legit stealth kill on this fucker and then take the meat from the lion. I don't see anything else moving in on us. Right there. Dead ahead. Deer. I lost track of him. Fuck. Let me see if I can get these other deer. With the sniper rifle, I might be able to get them. Then we'll worry about the breaker. Did they despawn? Did they get away? I see newts over there. Just saw one crawling. All right, well, it looks like I lost those deer, so let's go ahead and take care of this breaker. I'm kind of curious to see if there's meat left on the lion. I don't recall that I've ever tested that, and it looks like our breaker is fucked off, too. Oh, there he is. We'll go deal with him in a minute. Hey, he's over there by my bike, man. That's not fair. In fact, since he's over there by my bike, let's instead deal with him right now. Bam! <laughs> there we go. Well, that's how you deal with breakers. From a distance with a high-powered rifle. I see a question mark on the mini-map there. Well, are we going to do that? I really want to go clear the ambush camps, is what I want to do. Collect my bounty. When did I kill a newt here? That newt might be there from the last save. Alright, so I want to get up here. Alongside the camp, but above them. I'd like to do it without alerting the camp if possible. There's that sniper. Hell, he might already be on me. So I like to I like to take advantage of elevation and cover whenever I can. So I'll put my bike up here behind this big ass rock where they cannot see me at all. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. Because we can't let any of them get out of, get out of here alive. They're a bunch of rapists and murderers. And they're in the way of that infestation zone over there. All right, I'm going to perch up in some, uh, get into some concealment here. There we go. And who do I need to say hello to? It is time to catch up with the chat. Hello, everyone. All right, Brandano0069. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, uh, 8-Bit Terror is with us. 8-Bit Terror. Hello, ma'am. Uh, and let's see. Dandy Denny 7 is cooking and lurking. Hello, welcome. Webster Ross. Hey, what's up, man? Webster, how are you? Obi, Obscured by Ink. Welcome. And that is everyone I see in the chat right now. Hi. Y'all have fun. Uh, all right. Ambush camp time. I like to take this one out from up here. Where I, I get a good angle. Where I can see into the camp. And then we've pretty much penetrated all of their cover. And you can get quite a few kills generally before you actually alert the camp and need to break line of sight. And you can go further in here in a second. We'll do that. Move a little further in when it's time. We might, yeah, we can get this guy right. How many drifters you ambushed down there, huh? All right, ten more. Okay. All right, and you can go up this way and get to the other end of the camp. And you'll want to pay attention to who you take out first because you don't want them to notice too much. There we go. You know, their buddies are dropping around them. <clears throat> All right, I don't see any more movement. Let's 
let's go. Time to push up. We're about halfway through them anyway. I have read on the mini map, so there's someone yeah, fairly close to us. Oh, hey, right, yeah, right fucking below us. Hi. Hey, I didn't have it lined up right. I'm just chasing him, and I know better. Uh, these guys are standing right beside a corpse of someone I shot just a minute ago. You guys are dumb. <laughs> not enough. Definitely not enough at this rate, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, I want to get a good shot on this guy. I could do a headshot, take his helmet off if I wanted to. Oh, there's one moving right there. Yeah, <laughs> give me a target, buddy. Okay, we can we could do the double tap. The problem is I'm using the Talon 7 rifle right now, which while it's a fantastic rifle, it's a bolt action rifle which gives it a much lower rate of fire. I would have to fire one shot, do a long, you know, a, a action of the, you know, run run the lever on it and then take the next shot. This guy's not moving for me though. He's not getting out from behind cover, so let's just take the shot. There we go. That worked anyway. That was easy enough. Okay, we have three rounds left and three enemies left. All right, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get headshots on uh, three more enemies. It looks like it is time to push up. I don't see anyone else moving in this. Ah, wait. I spoke too soon. There was a shot right there. Here we go. Bam! Two bullets left. Two enemies left. Sniper, Sniper's fucking dream job, right? Let's go. Where shall we push up from? Let's not just roll off that way. That sounds dumb. <laughs> oh. Someone may have seen me moving or just saw a corpse. I see that sniper over there. We're about to get him. Oh, is my suppressor down? Oh, my suppressor's gone. That's okay. That's a not necessarily a problem, but Last one. gotta finish this. One round left. One enemy left. Give me a target. Oh, that was clever. Okay, you did well picking your concealment there, asshole. All right, <clears throat> that's okay. I know how to change position and defeat your cover. That's the last of Perfect number. Uh, I, I mean, perfect number of rounds. <clears throat> perfect number of rounds for clearing a camp. Bunker. Yeah. Nothing but headshots all the way, right? All right, let's get in there and find that bunker. I don't know what we unlock here. I don't remember what we unlock from this location. Or, it's not based off the location, it's based off of uh, the number of ambush camps that you have cleared. Uh, I do not remember what you get yes. for this. I always do them in the same order anyway, so it kind of is which one you're at. Oh shit, you brought me some whiskey, hello. You didn't happen to top off my water, did you? I don't, I don't, I don't see it. She brought me whiskey, though. <laughs> that is fucking classic Weaver. <laughs> she, <laughs> she brought me the important stuff. Oh, God. thank you so much, baby. Thank you. I, I'm actually really thirsty, guys. Excuse me one moment. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. My editor is reminding to change. My editor is reminding me to change my posture. what I pay her for. All right, folks, we're ready. <clears throat> oh, I was slouching. <laughs> Is that better? Do I look better on camera now? Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know better. You're on the clock, Junior. Sit up straight. Hi.
This is too far to the right. We'll have to change this. Yeah. There we go. I'm off center of the screen. Sorry, you guys will have to see me a little bit off center. I, I got to have my eye line centered on the screen. All right, here we go. Uh, ambush camp, right? So <clears throat> there is actually an easy way to navigate these. The mini map is really good for these areas because you can actually see the little red campfire symbol on the mini map down there. That is the exact location of the map that you need to unlock. Because on this table here, well, there's a map. And that is what adds all of the the infestation zones, all those nests, and the neuro injectors. That having that map, having that access to that map that the raiders have marked, is what clears all of the fog off the map and reveals those other points of interest. Hey, I need to say hi to some folks. Awesome! Hey, welcome in, everybody. I see new to the chat to my eyes, Melissa S. Hi, Melissa. Borislav, 24-7. Borislav, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Uh, let's see. Uh, look out for the heavy who appears from the bunker after the 8th Marauder killed in this camp. Yeah, man, we're doing good. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were standing by the fire. My buddy is dead, but, well, this fire is warm. Yeah. <laughs> right? Priorities, right? Gray Ghost Gamers, welcome in. What's going on? If I've missed anyone. I sincerely apologize. Uh, all right, so we got our XP, we got our trust and credits and all that fun stuff. Now, <clears throat> oh, and progress with the ambush camp hunter line, which unlocked nothing at this point. Current time is 6.02 p.m. Since it is nearly dark, my ass camping. <laughs> I hear a bunk calling my name. All right, so. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Keep the fuck away with corpses strung up in a tree. Or a corpse. That actually makes me want to play The Witcher 3 with uh, Hangman's Hill in uh, the start of that early game area. I think we need one more to make it actually daytime. Nope, it is 7.05 into a.m., we do have mm, some money at the local camps. We could top off our ammo if it's not ridiculous. This is another advantage of unlocking these camps. That would be absurd because you could just do it with 400 credits from the uh, saddlebags. So let's do that. Also, I was talking about the minimap earlier. The minimap is well laid out in these areas because that diamond with a ladder in the middle of it that black diamond with a ladder in the middle of it shows you exactly where the ladder is so if you happen to get a little turned around down here in these bunkers the mini map actually does show you exactly where everything is okay now uh we have some loot to pick up we have some corpses to check uh there's one there should be a sniper right over this way there he is Rag inventory full. <laughs> yeah, I had fun clearing this one. That was super easy running through here with the Talon 7. We only had that one slightly challenging shot, which was the heavy with the helmet who wouldn't get out from behind cover. But it was okay. The Talon 7 is a fantastic rifle. Uh, I personally prefer... Uh, semi-auto rifles over bolt action mostly just because i'm actually not that good of a shot like a bolt action rifle that is a fucking precision uh you don't miss with that rifle that that's what that's for is the type of the type of uh marks person who does not miss like yeah i can have a rifle with a slow rate of fire because i'm not gonna miss you know those types yeah, sure. Bolt action for you all the way. Hey, Ryan, are you still here with us? I saw Ryan also was in the chat. That's my brother right there. Uh, we've been shooting before. Um, he's really good with a uh, bolt action rifle. He's the better long range shot of the two of us. I'm good with like handguns and stuff like that. I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty good with handguns. 
uh, more so than rifles and shotguns, but it's just because I have more experience with them. I love a good semi-auto handgun, a good modern striker-fired polymer-framed uh, high-capacity double-stacked magazine. <laughs> Fucking modern semi-auto pistols. All right, uh, looks like we're about done there. We're, I'm done with that place. Let's get back up to the bike. Have I missed? Uh, have I missed saying hello to anyone? Man, it's good to see y'all here tonight. Welcome in, everybody. Okay, so next on the map is well, we just cleared some. Uh, Fog off of these uh, nests over here. We might as well go knock out these nests and get this Nero injector. And then we'll head south. Uh, or should we go this way? The next ambush camp is, oh, Jesus, what, down here in the corner? Yeah, we might as well roll around this way. Because we can see where the Nero injector is. We can see where these nests are. We can roll through here. I think we'll be passing nest on the way here, right? Or some nest down here somewhere. Anyway, we'll get there. Let's go see. We want to use the saddlebag. Need sniper ammo. My suppressor is gone now. But we still have ammo for the rifle. We'll be alright. The weapon is serviceable. We shall proceed. Alright. <clears throat> I am still looking for meat. Wolves. Bears, cougars, all that shit. We do want meat if we can find any. Uh, because we're still trying to get to level 2 trust with Wizard Island. Alright, we'll put the bike somewhere so we can take a pretty quick getaway if we need to. Let's go clear these nests. We've got the tools for the job. We've got Molotovs and we've got a shotgun. We'll be alright. There it is. I need to craft Molotovs. And that's what I thought. Come on, come on, come on. Photo mode. Oh, I should have taken it like a half a second sooner. The fire is fading. Oh, well. Maybe we'll catch the next one. All right, let's go. Oh, you got to be fucking shitting me. All right. <clears throat> Not liking my options. Ah! Obstacles. That's how it's done. Can we step over this? Leap, Deacon! Ah, oh, you fucking prick. Alright, let's try this. Can we get up on this from here? Ah, oh, outstanding. Alright, now, we may not be safe here. We're not guaranteed uh, safety in this location. Hopefully he'll fuck off. Because you can plug him with this thing all day long. Plug him in the butt with it. <laughs> that got him. Now I'm I'm curious. All right, so we used what about a magazine and a half? I know. I, yeah, about a magazine and a half. I used one full magazine of fifty rounds, and then I used like another uh, almost twenty five rounds, which would be exactly half. All right. So let's see. I want to know how many credits exactly it takes to fill up that SMP nine, and then we'll compare that to how many credits we get for the the Rager Bear. Uh, help me try to remember. Uh, I'll try to save my SMP9 and just fill it up when we get back to camp and see how much, how many credits it takes to do that. We'll compare the, uh, we'll pair the, compare the price. Next nest. Mm, 
Tears Breaker in there. Come up my hill. I dare you. I dare you to walk up my hill. Don't get up. Don't get up. Another one here. Don't walk up my hill, fool. Anyway, um... Gotcha. It's funny, but my melee game has improved since playing Lies of P. <laughs> it's it's hilarious to me. Uh, but seriously, I have I've managed to step up my melee game now that I've uh, played Lies of P. I love it. Got to be right around here. And I I have to be honest. I kind of get like folks who were coming in from maybe uh, having a lot of experience in Souls like games would sometimes come into Days Gone and be like, dude, I like Days Gone, but the melee is crap. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? It's not that bad. I mean, I rarely ever use melee, but it's not that bad. What are you talking about? And uh, having played a Souls-like game, uh, it's like I, I kind of get it, actually. And I uh, I feel like I've gotten much better with uh, melee-centric combat. All right, so that was just about all of them here, right? Yeah, so we just got credit for... That was what the pop-up was. I dismissed so quickly. Sorry. Sorry, Bend. I apologize. The pop-up cards were, were were not a great idea. All right. Next objective. Neuro injector here. We could clear this Nero checkpoint here, and then we could fill up our ammo for the SMP9 at this locker and see how much we get. Or we now let's just go back to camp. We'll do it when we get back to camp. That way we can do it all at once. I just have to remember not to use the SMP9. I want to keep the ammo uh, right where it's at. Hey, Richard Bentigay is here. Richard, what's up, man? Welcome. Oh, it's a rager. Even better. Yeah, that's what that's actually what I was thinking. I was like, oh man, we're about to use some ammo here, man. Because when they catch you flat footed like that, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Like I I wasn't gonna run away bravely. I had the tools to take care of it. Uh okay, y'all don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. We want to save uh, the SP9 right where it's at. Don't use the SP9 because we want to refill the ammo. Okay, I don't see any movement. Park it where we can get out of here easily. There we go. We don't really need to, but you should you should top off the fuel tank when you uh whenever you think about it, I guess. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna save my game too. I have uh kind of forgotten to follow my own early game advice is to uh well i took five steps and i didn't die let's make a save game man yeah. okay let's go unlock a nero checkpoint so we talked about this I, I think in the last stream we talked about uh the best way to clear nero checkpoints which is of course to locate the generator first on you locate the generator by finding a junction of power lines here and to clear all of the speakers uh quietly you just follow the power lines just follow each individual power line and you will know exactly where every single speaker is and uh, still miss one or two <laughs> most of the time okay let's take the left side first Need that actually we should be looting as well but i tend to do that in separate phases like i i kind of i kind of tend to focus on one thing at a time i'll get the speakers out of here i'll get the generator activated uh and then i'll run around and start picking up loot and i know it's like absolutely the least efficient method but for me it's the most effective method because then i'm least likely to forget stuff and fuck it up uh, okay, and then there's one down there that's not active, and this one. 
I love that it puts little bullet little bullet holes in there. You can actually see the holes pop in the side of it. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, well, that's good enough. Now let's see how many we've missed. <laughs> I left the fuel can right up here. There's probably a second one somewhere. I did not know this until Claire Weaver, 8-Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast, uh, let me know that uh, she enlightened me that there are always two fuel cans at every Nero checkpoint. I didn't know that. In, in fact, right now, I have to admit, I don't immediately recall where both locations are. Now, like, even now that I know that there are two, I don't know where every one of them is. All right, how many speakers did I miss? Zero, because we followed the power lines, mostly. All right, let's get the injector. We should be pretty close to finishing this up, actually. Uh, here, all right, uh, I, I could max out focus if I wanted to, but I generally do. I do it staggered, uh, so I will, it looks like stamina is the next one to be caught up, and then it'll be health, then we'll max out focus, and then we'll just keep going and keep them staggered. Uh, so stamina is next, and I don't currently have any skill points either, so let's just do some stamina. Had all the good shit. <laughs> stamina. Ooh. Joe Schmo 0216 and Mega Man, the Blue Lion. Hey, and also Steve Elliman. Hi, welcome in, fellas. What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Who's lurking? 8 bit terror, working and lurking. Oh, Dandy Denny, you're right. There may be at, uh, at least two, there may be more <laughs> at others. Yeah. Like the sawmill may have more or something. Yeah. <laughs> You okay, babe? She has her water, too. All right, Wizard Island Trust moving up. It's not very freaking high, but, well, there it is. Whoa. That'll do it. Still relatively early. Saw movement on the minimap. Let's go ahead and we'll do that little run through for crafting materials. I do forget sometimes when you are locked into this area for the story, you do have to stay on top of crafting up your own stuff and gathering crafting materials because I should have, yeah, hang on, damn, I'm low on gunpowder and I should have made smoke bombs instead. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of do need to stay on top of your crafting materials because there are so few of the hidden loot locations in this area. There are very few areas where you can roll through and just immediately pick up items that are ready to be used. I remember being a little bit frustrated when I first started playing that I couldn't pick up these because I was like, I know this is a crafting item. This is definitely a crafting item. I don't know what it's for, but that's a crafting item. Yeah, you find out what they're for later. And I wish I could have been picking them up all along. Is it, it would be cool to like just be able to pick up the items like maybe on a New Game Plus. Well, never mind. You can do it on New Game Plus. But anyway, I was going to say it would be cool to just be like be able to pick them up so that when the recipe is unlocked, you already have an inventory full of them, but that would be extremely overpowered and would just satisfy my uh, desire to be really overpowered really early. Gunpowder. Here we go. Uh, so we were looking at smoke bombs last time. I forgot that it also uses scrap. I knew that. I just didn't mention it at the time. I forgot to mention it at the time. Uh, uses a gunpowder, a rag, a can, and one piece of scrap. Which makes scrap even more important once you get down here in this part of the game. Alright, almost done with my looting. 
definitely doing another smoke bomb. Those are so powerful. Those are useful against so many different enemies in so many different situations. It's just, they're really a bit overpowered, honestly. It can, it can be a bit resource intensive crafting them because of scrap and cans and gunpowder and shit. Uh, so they do use some materials, but man, they're, they are the most e effective form of crowd control in Days Gone. The smoke bomb is the single most effective form of crowd control in this game, period. Aside from like the MG55, that's crowd control, right? That counts. <laughs> All right, so we took another five steps and didn't die. Let's save it real quick. Perhaps have a sip of whiskey. I'm going to take it easy on this. Uh, my voice does feel a bit raw today. So I'll take it easy. Hello. Got movement. Oh, I used the SMP9, didn't I? Damn it. I used like two rounds from the SMP9. I was supposed to be saving that so we can uh, compare the ammo cost to uh, the... Bounty on a rager. Gotcha. All right. <clears throat> Can we fast travel back to... We can't. Let's just go straight back to camp before I mess up again. I want to go ahead and uh, do the ammo thing and compare the gains on a rager bear bounty. Ah, it looks like I need to say hello to Lightning Rod 75. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, have I missed anyone? I've probably missed other people. I apologize. Welcome in. If I've not said hello to you, or if you haven't popped up yet, pop in and say hi. We'll try to give you a little shout. Hey guys, open the Tell us how you're doing on this fine Friday evening. It's actually been a really good week for me. Guys, I got to tell you, I... Oh, in some ways, I have a little bit renewed faith in, uh, like, the job that I'm trying to do. A little bit. It's like, well, maybe there are maybe there are some decent options out there. Because um, I've been working at, uh, again, let me, let me lead with this uh, disclaimer here. Uh, we live in Colorado. And in Colorado, uh, cannabis is legal here. Recreational use of cannabis for individuals above the age of uh, 21 and above. Uh, so like it's a thing here. Well, that means there are people here who farm the cannabis and grow the cannabis. Uh, and also people who are paid to like prepare it for sale for consumption. Uh, so that's like the job that I'm doing right now. I've been, I'm actually working for a company that what we do is we prepare, we help the different grow operations prepare their, uh, bud for sale for consumption. We help them grow it and prepare it. The location that I've been working at for a while is, well, it's kind of a kind of a shithole, man. It's uh, just kind of a hole in the wall. Like they they grow really good pot there. They grow very fine medicine there, but the operation is like it's barely a permanent structure. It's it's got a cement slab and it's got some walls and a frame, but it's not insulated. It's not climate controlled. Uh, you know, snow gets in through the roof sometimes and shit. Yeah, it's, it's one of the, it's a fucking farm out on the side of a hill, man. Uh, so it is what it is. But this last week we had a job pop up at a different place. There was a different company that needed some help just trimming their buds. So all we were doing was sitting there in a nice room with buckets and buckets of beautiful medical grade cannabis plants ready to be trimmed and prepared for consumption for sale and uh so that's what i did all week was sit in a lovely little building uh that was climate controlled and air, it was friggin insulated climate controlled real clean facility i talked him into letting me tour the place and i got to walk around and actually see the plants in the grow room and everything it's the first time i got to do that uh it's, it was really neat man so it's like I don't know. Maybe, maybe there, maybe uh, there can be a, a little more going on here than sitting on somebody's shithole farm. You know, there are some really nice operations out here. 
Anyway, so it looks like for the uh, SMG, the SMP9, it's going to take us 125 rounds, uh, 125 credits to replace those rounds that we used killing that Rager Bear. Now, we only used two more rounds on that Freaker that I got the headshot on. It just a quick tap tap. So 125 rounds. Let's go to the Bounty Collector. 125 credits. Damn it. Say it right, Junior. Let's go to the Bounty Collector. See what we get for one rager bounty. Corporal. How's it going, Sal? Same so the oh. rager bear. I don't think I ever asked, but these guys, one of them, and I never said, sells for sorry forty-five credits. One rager ear sells for 45 credits we spent about 120 credits on ammo i mean there may be a sniper rifle four rounds from the sniper rifle probably still cost 125 credits or more because the sniper rifle ammo is extremely expensive I, there's no i cannot think of any way to kill a rager bear that leaves you with more resources than when you started. The only way to deal with a rager bear that leaves you with more or, or a, a you just, gonna stand there all day? just drive off, <laughs> you just fucking drive off. Uh, but sometimes they catch you flat footed and that's all you can do. So anyway, we are where I want to get my little, uh, trust boost here. I'm going to hold, well, I have like 500 fucking swarmer ears. I could sell them here. I want level two here. I'm going to hold off, though, and do more missions. We'll come back with a big stack of them. Maybe we can use that to get over the level three gap. Corporal. All right, next up, let's just head on with what we were doing. Uh, there is a Nero checkpoint here, Nero research site here, and an infestation zone here. And we might as well just go right where we were and take off from right there. Why not, right? Chaminda, hello, welcome in, and J.P. Cotter, welcome, welcome. Top five favorite game. Yeah, yeah, I am. it is my pleasure to be streaming it, you bet. Let me ease up off the mic a bit here, and I also want to make the chat a little bit larger so I can see it better. There we go, that's better. Move that up a touch. Sorry, moving stuff around here. Almost done. I promise, I promise, I promise. There we go. Just about got it. And then this one. Yeah, now we're ready. Okay, we're back in. <laughs> All right, sorry I messed that up. Now I can see the chat a lot better, though. Okay, so let's rock and roll, man. Uh, we had just unlocked a camp here, so let's run to this Nero checkpoint camp real quick. I mean, we just unlocked a bed here. Man. Hello, bus. Bed's on this side, I think. No, no breakers. No more breakers. Go away, breaker. I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit, breaker. Go away. Rex, what kind of drink would you make? And name after anything days gone. Huh. All right. So let's make, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying this is something I want to drink, but it's the first thing that comes to mind. We should do a like an energy drink and Jägermeister mix, like fucking Red Bull and Jägermeister that's a Nero injector. Uh, so let's make the Nero injector drink, uh, your stamina injector. <laughs> There's that. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, mm. Tequila. Whatever you want to mix it with, tequila is like nest residue because you're going to go fucking nuts, probably get in a fight. <laughs> so uh, whatever you want to make with tequila, we'll, we'll call that nest residue. 
<laughs> what else you got? What's up, Richie? That's a good question, man. <laughs> Y'all tell me in the chat, what other kind of drinks can we come up with that's Days Gone stuff? What you got, man? <laughs> Name it after the merchant from Wizard Island. Oh, gosh, Joe, should we hold off and save it for Days Gone Gum? <laughs> Yeah, the residue shot. You like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe, you'll be the first one acting like your own nest residue dog. You know, <laughs> don't don't play, don't play. You know what you know what time it is. All right. So speaking of what time it is, it is now oh seven twenty two. So we're gonna go ahead and roll out of camp. Deacon has had a good good night's rest. We're ready to go uh, miss this jump a few times. Rock and roll. Cougar and deer. Dude, get off the bike. I'm hitting the wrong button. <coughs> I'm probably hitting Lies of P buttons. I did not replace my suppressor at camp. He just kept walking right into it. I had to take the shot. I couldn't not take that shot. But yeah, I feel silly. I did not top off my suppressor at camp. I know better. Breaker jizz. Oh my God. Coors Light and Everclear. <laughs> I don't know. You can make something frothy. Like there's drinks. I, I had a drink a long time ago. It was called Brains. Liquid Brains or something like that. And it was... A real creamy drink like Bailey's Irish Cream and some other kind of thick, uh, like maybe Kahlua or something that's kind of syrupy. And you mix the two together and the, the creamy drink, the Bailey's Irish Cream, gets kind of stringy, lumpy looking. Almost like someone had made a Halloween, a Halloween decoration candy of like brains. Uh, it was pretty interesting. <clears throat> But you could use something like super creamy like Bailey's Irish Cream or something to make a real thick drink for uh, the breaker jizz. If you wanted to do that. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. What are y'all even talking about in the chat? Damn. That's wolves. I see one. Got him. One more. All right, you'll see how I use the bike to kind of slow him down a little bit. Now, I'm curious here. I've seen it mentioned recently that um, shooting the bike damages it. I really don't think so, guys, but let's test it. We're at 86% durability right now. That's a full magazine, pretty much all of it on target. We're still at 86%. I really didn't think that it would damage the bike. So you are safe to use the bike as a temporary barrier to slow down the enemies and make them stumble a bit. Just give them something to walk around so you can take advantage of the few frames you get while they're moving around the obstacle. Right. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, Dandy Denny, you know what I'm talking about. You can add stuff to Bailey's and it sort of like half curdles. It just kind of turns into like a... Sorry, bump the mic. It's like a stringy, lumpy kind of... T not necessarily unpleasant. Uh, Just kind of weird. So check this out, guys. I think this right here... This was Rippers moving up into militia territory. If you look at them, these are clearly Rippers who have moved up into militia territory or moved further south into militia territory. And the militia encountered the Rippers and fucking executed them on the spot, lined them up, executed them firing squad style. Fucking brutal, 
right? Look at that shit. On the spot execution. So that's how the militia dealt with rippers. Maybe that's how Iron Mike should have been dealing with rippers. On the spot execution. <laughs> Brutal. God damn. All right, sometimes there's a closed line here. Nope. No X on the minimap, so we should be clear. Let's head toward that next objective. Remembering to collect meat as we go. Here we are. About to drive off a cliff looking for this shit. About to drive off a cliff chasing tail. White tail. No, really, white tail deer. Gotta take a closer look. After you reload. No, we did reload. Okay, good. <laughs> Sex on Wizard Island. <laughs> Wait, what is the what what's the official name for the area, the burned out zone around uh is it's called the dead zone? Let's make a drink called the dead zone. That's like a mix of like Bacardi 151 and Rumple Mints 100 proof and fucking some crazy shit one like that. Yeah, like one shot and you just pass the fuck out. <laughs> We'll call it the dead zone. <laughs> oh, 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 I got one. I got one. Uh, whatever kind of drink you make that's like set on fire, that's a napalm Molotov. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, flaming drink. <laughs> napalm Molotov. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we got to do this at Days Gone Calm, man. Y'all put some brain power into it. Think some shit up for us to do at Days Gone Calm. Come up with some drink names for us. We'll fucking we'll mix these motherfuckers. Hell, uh, you know, depending, maybe we'll be able to get some liquor too. We'll have like a little wet bar or something. I it ain't no fucking promise, man. Money's tight these days, but uh, that would be super cool if we could. Yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What's doing? Keep hitting the wrong button. Looking for your next easy target. Yeah, don't let him take that shot. All right, two marauders. Oh, and I see a question mark this way. I really want to deal with that freaking nest over there. Those freaking nests over there. Don't necessarily want to go all the way down to the question mark. Hell, it may actually be down there at the uh, visitor center type place. And I just want to get these nests right now. Let's do this. Oh, there was a marauder rescue or a survivor rescue right there. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a survivor rescue here. All right, let's get this one real quick. Catch. Looks like there's another outlier up top there. And we might be able to get these two together. Now, most of you will know, or you've already noticed just now, the way to dodge those criers, the most effective way to avoid the criers and take zero damage from them just a second or so after you hear them make their screech, after they do their cry, that's the moment to do your dodge roll. Oh, second, do it immediately. Well, Claire says immediately. I, I find I like to like finish throwing the Molotov or you know finish taking the shot or whatever. I, I allow myself a second or two uh, and then uh, get it dealt with. Uh, but she's right. Uh, it can, like... The audio cue is immediate. Once you hear it screeched, get out of the way. Now, I'm I'm wondering if these... Uh, is there perhaps another marauder nearby? I see criers flying around, but they should fuck off once we finish with the nest here, and I'm not seeing any more nest. But it is not allowing me to get the hostage. Which kind of blows, because I really want that trust boost with uh, <clears throat> Wizard Island right now. I want to hit level 2 there. I'd like to hit level 2 there tonight, if possible. So the question mark was leading me off this way. There we go. I got your bitch. No, that's, uh, that's freaks. That's not other marauders. I thought maybe there were more marauders off that direction. Doesn't appear to be. Maybe it really was just the criers. <clears throat> Oh, Miranda Saturn is with us. Miranda, hello. Welcome. Welcome. 
Hey, Miranda Saturn, uh, where's my, uh, babe, do you have that box? Is it right there behind the TV? The box that the thingy came in? Yeah, uh, I think I'm giving the shout out correctly here. The note that I got with it said this is from Captain Caffeine and Miranda Saturn. This is something we've had on our throne wish list for a little while that we, it's one we actually needed. Uh, we were having some problems. Uh, the old powered USB hub that I have is only like a seven port or something. We've got a ton of shit plugged into it. We've got external hard drives and speakers and all kinds of shit. You know, you end up needing a lot of USB ports. So I have... Uh, we had on the throne wish list the multi port, like an even bigger one that's powered. Uh, this is great because now I'm going to be plugging my cable into your USB ports like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sending me a USB hub. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make good use of that. Uh, in fact, uh, sh yeah, we'll have that hooked up over the weekend, I'm sure. Uh, we'll add it to the setup, get the cables run properly because, of course, all the cables are like. Cable tied down and everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that is what the throne wish list is for, man. Check it out. We're, that gives us a, a way to tell the community about specific things that we need um, that will actually help us out, that we'll actually be using every day, man. Either like, sure, there's just cool nerd stuff on there, too, because it's fun. And why not? Right. It's stuff we can put in the stream room. We'll give shout outs. Uh, help. We got Quasimodo sent us some gourmet ass bourbon infused coffee the other day i am so looking forward to my saturday morning cup of coffee i want i'm saving it for saturday morning oh uh, yeah here it is right here claire has it handy uh i'm saving this for saturday morning so that i can have a cup of coffee while i have nothing other to do no other obligations than enjoy my morning coffee for a minute yeah yeah uh, but yeah, so that's something that, you know, that wasn't on the wish list. That was a, a gift from uh, viewer Quasimodo, uh, one of our good friends from back in the day. I'm sorry. You know, I, I did pop it open and look at the bag of coffee. I haven't like smelled it yet because like I then I'll no, then I want to drink it, man. <laughs> you can't really smell it through the bag. Once we open the bag, I'm sure it's going to go nuts because I'm sure it's like uh, like flavor sealed and stuff, you know. Uh, but it's whole bean, so we're going to grind some up fresh Saturday morning and make some fucking fresh pot of coffee with it. Probably, oh, actually, we'll do a fresh uh, a French press with it, I think, with that. Yeah, we'll do definitely do a French press for maximum flavor. Now, the way I generally make this decision here is I will send the survivors to whatever camp gives the most trust, which in this case, it would be Circle Diamond Lake for a thousand trust. I really want to trust boost with Wizard Island. I'm trying to get up to level two with Wizard Island, so I'm going to send him there instead. It's only a 500 bonus, but man, that's 500 where I want it, so it's worth more to me. KCC, yeah, you did join the, join at an interesting time since we're talking about, uh, you know, putting my cables into my viewers' USB ports, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's like that thing where, like, God, what was it? fallout new vegas that claire was playing where we were making the joke about sticking the you know every time you try to plug a usb cable in like you, you stick it in one way it's like no that's not the way right way wound so you stick it in again that's not the right way round so you stick it in again and like no that's not it either it's like god damn it like three out of four no <laughs> is the uh there's no mushroom here it says there's a mushroom here but there is no mushroom here the mushroom is a lie. All right, let's go. I miss saying hi to anybody. I've probably missed. I have probably missed saying hello to people. The schizo drink is in the mop bucket at the end of the party. <laughs> you, dude. You. All right, let's go where we actually had it marked, uh, which is this jump down here. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna die. <laughs> Damn, I turned the bike around faster than I could move the camera around. Alright. And it is like that way, right? Okay. 
shit, we... It's actually... Well, it's not going to be a good one. Yep. The problem is, I let my wheels get off the ground too much, which costs you speed. So if you, you let those tires lose contact with the ground, you're not accelerating forward. You're, you have momentum carrying you forward, but you're not accelerating forward. All right, so... Man, I really want to max out my focus, but I will be patient. Uh, health is next, so we can keep them staggered in the way I like them staggered. Uh, Nero injector, just what the doctor ordered. There we go. <laughs> Richard, yeah, you got it, yeah. Uh, yeah, if Carlos doesn't stand a chance now that I've beat Liza P, man. Uh, that has definitely improved my melee game. Let's see if we can or need to craft some stuff. Yeah, I can't craft any of those right now. Out of gunpowder once again. Shit. Do we need fuel? Ah, uh, there is usually... Uh, there is scrap up here, generally, and fuel up here as well. These, uh... All of these jump locations. There's also sometimes bandages... Uh, for health, because it's like they know you're doing these bike jumps. You're probably going to wreck the bike and need some scrap. Uh, you've probably done it several times, so you're low on fuel. And you've probably hit and wrecked the bike several times, so you need health, too. <laughs> I love it. It's like they know. <laughs> Mikey! Mikey, what's going on? Welcome in. Never aware of that location. Uh, which one? Uh, which location? Not this bike jump here, right? Is if you're clearing the ambush camps, then all of these uh, Nero injectors will be on your map. Might as well top off the bike. Hell, my, how's my, my melee weapon could use a little top off as well, so let's do that. There's still scrap here. Wonderful. There we go. Okay, bike's topped off. Melee weapon's topped off. I've crafted what I can for now. Now, is this the one? There's not a second jump leading out of here, is there? We can just go back out the way we came, right? Yeah. That's right. Much oh, better that time. There we go. All right, now the next ambush camp is pretty much just down here in the corner, so we're going to head that way now. You know, I always knew I was missing something. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, because by the end of the game, there there are enough Nero injectors that you should have your health, stamina, and focus entirely maxed out uh, by the end of the game. Wait a minute, can't you? That's a short. Well, that's not a shortcut because you can't go that way. Never mind. Brain. Oh, I should run by this uh, abandoned radio tower up here. This is actually a great uh, loot location for crafting materials. It's one of my favorites, uh, especially in this region. There's a lot of stuff here. Including, uh, like, stamina cocktail stuff. And what I really need is gunpowder don't recall there being much gunpowder here so that's like that's not ideal but there is good stuff here still yeah i need this kerosene i was burning out nest and we'll do more soon i'm sure so we'll need the kerosene for molotovs Looks like we're just about done here. Yep, close enough. You did not get an... You're not getting ads, are you? 
You should not, no, we should not be getting ads in the middle of this. I know I set this up to only have an ad, one ad placed manually after the stream. Now, if there's buffering issues for you and like it, you get kicked out of the stream, now that's one thing. Actually, we are going to head back to camp because I forgot to top off my suppressor and we're about to go do an ambush camp. Peanut butter is live. And for some people, peanut butter is death. Such is life. The dichotomy of human nature. Defined by peanut butter. Hey, what are you doing here? Your mom. And your mom's friends. Ah, Corporal, man of the hour. Sarge. 1,200 credits, that's highway robbery, which is what I was using the rifles yeah. for. Every little bit helps, yeah? Yeah, okay. Oh, you ever suppressor. Money, this shit, this is some primo shit, let me tell we you. We did buy suppressors, okay, we're good. Nothing. Time, 420. Hey, folks, it's 420. Ah, ha, ha. Never mind. No, I don't. I didn't actually want that. Go away. Stop. Stop. Go away. Shh. Hush. There. We'll do collectibles later. Two ads after the starting ads. No, man. See, it really. I am certain that I said it to have. Ads insert one ad inserted manually after the stream. That's something we do every time. And still have fucking problems with it, apparently. Oh well. It is what it is. I try not to get upset about uh YouTube doing like shady shit, like throwing in ads when there shouldn't be and like auto populating stuff that we didn't want auto populated like various ads and stuff and I just oh, I'm sorry guys I wish I wish we had a little more control over it but it's one of those things where it's like you know what really seriously never mind YouTube's just kind of not super viable anymore as a as like a platform all right so I actually do want to go out the other end of camp so we can just be right here on this southern road anyway Hey, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Mikey. I mean, it, it, it would be nice if YouTube would allow us to get paid more often. Because what, what my actual complaint is with YouTube right now, these live streams that we do, after the stream... It will just go ahead and autom automatically demonetize us. Just go ahead and remove, like, yeah, hey, guess what? You're not getting ad revenue off this. You'll get YouTube premium viewer revenue off of it, but you're not getting any ad revenue off this. We're still playing ads, so we're still getting revenue. YouTube is still getting revenue, but they're not sharing it with us. Because, oh, well, we have to check and see if this video is okay for advertising. We have to see if this video is approved for ads. And you have to go in and you have to do a checklist of, well, yeah, you know, we actually do talk about recreational drug use. Uh, well, yeah, it, and there's a couple that I don't like clicking yes on because there are some, like, uh, racism and, like, sensitive issues. And, like, well, sometimes we're shooting Nazis and we're talking about how much we hate Nazis. And, well, that touches on the topic of racism and genocide and you know it's like well fuck man we're not about that but we sometimes talk about that you know it's it you you get it like we're not about that but sometimes we talk about that uh because we're a community and we talk about things so i have to click yes there may be violence because it's a video game yes there may be discussion of recreational drug use and then they're like oh okay but it's all mild just like check level one of each yeah yeah it's all pretty mild there's nothing too extreme there's no actual hate speech or anything we were just shooting nazis you know <laughs> that's oh and i'm getting stuck while i'm trying to 
talk about important stuff. So anyway, once we've gone through and we've clicked everything, yes, mild this, yes, mild that, yes, mild this too, sorry, yes, some of that too. Uh, once we've clicked everything, YouTube's like, oh, yes, you're okay. You can absolutely monetize your content. We'll start sharing money with you again now that you've selected this. Why didn't you give me a way to say ahead of time? Check it out, man. Each of my videos, they're probably going to have like level one of this and level one of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this, man. It's probably going to be in there. So let me just tell you ahead of time that, yeah, expect this so that you can say, oh, it's going to have that. You're okay for advertising. But no, what actually happens is we get started, we get rocking and rolling hour or two after the stream, bam, you're not making any more money off of it. You're not getting any more money off of those views. Once the stream goes dead, you're not getting any more money off of those views until like a day or two later when we fucking disputed it with YouTube and got them to re-monetize something that should have been fucking monetized the entire fucking time. How's that for some fucking vulgarity? Rant over. Let's play some Days Gone. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> That's the problem that I have. I would like for YouTube to actually pay us for the content that we produce, man. That's that's what I want. Like, I don't want it to be on my viewers. You, I don't want it to be on my community of viewers to have to provide the main source of income for the channel. No. It's like YouTube, the platform, should be providing us for the majority of our revenue. But that's simply not how it works. And because I'm sitting here ranting, I didn't hear the audio cue to dodge. <laughs> See how many we can get. Can we get two there? Nice. There's another nest. Let's burn it up. Nest. I hear you. Oh, check it out. We got three with that one toss by accident. I threw one at like this nest right here. And as... Claire Weaver, also 8-Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast, has said many times, if you throw your Molotovs just right, you can get multiple fucking nests with them. The Cryer Nest specifically. So it is actually pretty easy to take out the Cryer Nest with, uh... Oh, look, we only got two. I was mistaken. I spoke too soon. But that, it totally looked like it was on fire, man. I could run the stream back. It looked like it was on fire. So anyway, yeah, what I was trying to say is I just wish that YouTube would, like, not be so damn shady about pulling monetization out from and under us for literally no reason other than they can. It's like, oh, well, we don't have to monetize this video for several hours after it gets released if we don't want to. We don't have to if we don't want to. I mean, it's in it's in the agreement we made with you that we would monetize your content as long as it's not offensive. But we're not going to monetize this content until you tell us whether it's whether or not it's offensive. Even yeah, like even though we never do anything actual, rarely do anything actually yeah, offensive. <laughs> yeah, it's rarely. I'm going to say we rarely do anything that's actually offensive. Oh, Miranda. Miranda Saturn, thank you so much, dear. I see that. May this appease the YouTube content moderation gods. And honestly, interaction with the videos in general, the super chats, liking, subscribing, notifications turned on, commenting, super thanks in the comments after the videos, all of that stuff, letting the videos play in a playlist like Quasimodo does, all of those interactions that you folks do, that is the way to tell YouTube, hey, we like this and we really hope to see more of it. Please make it a viable fucking platform for folks to keep producing it. Anyway. I, I thought I said I was done ranting a minute ago. I wonder if they got anything in their nest. I wonder if they got anything in their nest. I don't think I've ever heard that line of dialogue. I don't recall that line of dialogue. And check it out, Miranda Saturn. Uh, this came from you and Captain Caffeine, right? The uh, multi-port powered USB hub that we had on our throne wish list. 
which I should be putting in the chat. Man, why am I not doing that? Links. Join merch wish list. View my wish list. Yeah, there it is right there. So check, check it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all were going to let me drive off without getting the Nero injector here? That's why Deacon says that line, because there's a freaking Nero injector here. He says, I wonder what they got in their nest. Well, they have a Nero injector in their nest. Can I max out focus now? Huh? I can max out focus now. Nero injector. Done. Maxing out focus on this playthrough. Rock and roll. Captain Cappy! Hey, Cap. Welcome in, man. Hi, buddy. Welcome, welcome. So this was, that was from you guys, right? It was mostly Cap's idea. Aw. Well, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you. But Raffi, shit, Raffi, I didn't know you were here, man. <laughs> Ambush and rant, master. I mean, y'all know, man, I do love me a good rant. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, I see them hearts popping up. Much, much love. Thank you, everybody. You guys are fucking great, man. Like, seriously, that's what we mean when we say we can't keep doing this without y'all. I hate 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 that i have to say that but it it is what it is it is that simple i may have runners on me and a wolf spawning in front of me i have runners on me and wolves on me let's do the thing right use the bike ah shit we didn't have a bike in the way for that one got it that should be all of them. Two runners and three wolves. Done. Uh, where are we at? There's bandages and med kits or some shit around here. I think there's a bandage like really nearby. And my health wasn't damaged too terribly bad. So let's go ahead and use a bandage. Oh, check it out. Richard Cranium has gifted five Sponicus Rex memberships. Dude, thank you. You, you freaking Richard Cranium, you. <laughs> thanks man really thank you like i'll tell you the the gifted memberships that's one of those things that really really benefits the channel in multiple ways not only i mean i i we just got five memberships bought for the channel so that's revenue for the channel which is great but another cool thing about that is those five individuals there frank kapler sweet ellis cookies nice jc Far blah. <laughs> Jesse plays have now have memberships, and for the next month, they have all the perks that come with memberships, which include uh, being able to make those highlighted comments, uh, having those nifty little symbols out beside your name and stuff. Man, that's fun stuff. That's community interaction stuff that I can't provide those services through any other platform. That's one of the things that makes me so frustrated that YouTube gets so many things right and then gets so many things so wrong because stuff like that, <clears throat> I love that Claire made those little icons out beside, yeah, 8-Bit Terror right there in the chat, 8-Bit Terror uh, right there. She made those little custom emojis that you can use uh, right there, Richard Bantigay. Thank you, Richard. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Claire made those, man. We're able to create and add content and add services through YouTube that we can't do any other way. So I do recommend if you're considering a channel membership, take a look at the YouTube tier of membership. Uh, I, I'm not going to keep going on and on about monetization, guys. I, I see we've, we've made a little money on this stream tonight. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, what I did want to say is, uh, that enables folks to participate in the members only uh members only co-op gaming sessions that we're going to be doing soon uh i've got one coming up shit what next saturday not tomorrow night but the very next saturday we're going to be playing hot wheels uh so any member of the community who has hot wheels uh, it was a free game a while back that's one of the reasons we picked it uh it's a lot of fun too I'm really looking forward to uh, folks signing up for that. It's coming up soon, too. That's very next weekend. So, I mean, like, if y'all are wanting to get down with some co-op gaming, uh, Hot Wheels, hit me up, man. We're ready. I don't I don't think I currently have anybody signed up. So, I need to. Uh, of course we do. We do have? Oh, you. That's. I'm sorry, man. Claire's been on top of that. I don't know who signed up yet. I should check that list. 
Uh, I think we can have up to 10. Do we have slots open, babe? Yes. Okay, how many slots? Several. Uh, several. All right, so if you're interested, let us know because we do have several slots open. So I, I like to do this camp. It's I do it the same way every time. If you move in quiet enough and the ambush camp marauders are not aware of you and they're doing their little fight club thing down there, you can just let them do that. You have a suppressor and your sniper rifle. You can shoot this box right here and then fuck off for a second. No, no, no men coming. There's a horde coming. Oh, this guy was already aware of me. Shit. Well, that's going to fuck things up. Stop making noise, dude. Oh, well, fuck it. There's a horde down there. Maybe that'll keep them busy down there for a minute. Hey, you. Ass monkey. Stop running. Yeah. Now there's a horde down there. Maybe the horde will take care of all that. Hello. Nope, they're still aggroed on me. And the horde is just down there being dumb. All right. <laughs> Freaks coming up here with me? Hope not. Okay, good. Now the horde should be busy with those guys down there. Now, this is not an official horde. They will actually respawn here. They do not count toward the horde killer storyline either. Check it out. There we go. Look at them climbing up the side of that Nero checkpoint. That Nero building. That's it. You're done. Okay, that's all of them, huh? All right, so let's... Get these freakers dealt with. And then we'll move in, collect our bounties, and clear the Nero checkpoint and the ambush camp. This may take a moment. I think I'm actually going to use uh, an attractor bomb since they're still clustering up from even further out. I'm pointing like y'all can see where I'm pointing. We may need a grenade as well. They were kind of spread out. Shit, here they come. Wasted those first couple of shots, didn't I? Don't come up my hill. Don't walk beside my tree. I'm getting sloppy. I should slow down. There we go. All right. Yeah, I was getting sloppy. I should slow down and take my time. Might be about time for intermission, actually. I should take a breath and stretch my legs. This guy's all messed up. All right, so let's get these bounties as we kind of run through here. This is where we got most of them. We can uh, hit... Well, let's just go do the ambush camp. Uh, clear that real quick. Then we'll do the uh, generator for the Nero checkpoint. Because this is ready to be cleared right now. Here it is. And uh, have I missed saying hello to anyone? Do we have anybody else with us that I have missed? Don't see any further names in the chat, Neil. If I have missed you, I sincerely apologize. So I just saw 54 there. I don't recall what my current record is. I think like 55, 56 is the most we've ever had. Or have we gotten closer to 60? I don't even remember now, man. Shit, Claire just hit a record on her channel, 8-Bit Terror channel. You got... 45, was it? Yep. Yeah, that's a new high for her. She hit 45 on her Red Dead Redemption stream recently. Yeah, rock and roll, man. I've, I've had so much fun watching her play that. God, I've had so much fun watching her play that. All right, so we have a skill point. I think I recall noticing recently this one. I've actually felt the loss of this skill uh, no longer consuming focus when reloading a ranged weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and get that now. Okay. Okay, he says. It is past noon, but let's go ahead and clear this Nero checkpoint before we rest. I think we're done in here. I try to watch your streams, but my boss keeps telling me I should work. Well, just tell your boss he should be watching these streams. Problem solved, right? Multiple screamers. Oh, shit. There's like three screamers right freaking there, man. 
Holy shit balls. I can't shoot over the fence, can I? There's two right there on the gate. Oh, I hope the third. Oh, I hope the third one comes up to the gate. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh. It only got one of them? Oh, they're going to scream. Don't scream. Don't scream. You can't scream if you're, like, falling down and shit. Don't scream. Don't scream. Aha! There may be another one. Oh, Miranda? Hang on. Miranda Saturn's comment. I'm sorry, I've, like, really zoomed in here. I can only see a few of the comments. We should get Jerry to join us. I, I'm sorry. What comment? I can't. I can't see them all. Screamer Convention, also known as your mom's house. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Let me fix that. There we go. Now we're on live chat. Make sure you're on live chat, everybody. And there's another friggin' screamer. Don't scream. Shit, she got... Did she get the scream off? I don't think she actually pulled it off, and she did not summon a squirm, swarm. I had the noise of it. I had the audio, but she was not able to summon a swarm on us. She didn't pull it off. <laughs> so there were four total that I see. Screamer convention, your mom's house. <laughs> Sometimes, I reckon. I don't know. Is there a fifth one? I've seen up to like five at a time. I'm not seeing one nearby. All right. Okay, so now let's do the speakers, and we'll do this Nero checkpoint. And I don't really know where all of them are on this one. We're just, kind of, just going to kind of walk around and shoot a lot. Oh, there's the fifth one right there. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Five screamers in one location. Sounds like a fucking party, right? Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Here's the generator. Yes, I know where the generator is, Deacon. Calm down. We know where the generator is. The speakers I'm more worried about. Is anybody else, uh, you can't resist reloading after like every shot? Like I, it's, it's automatic. I, sometimes I can't make myself not do that. You know, did we already get this one? Oh uh, yeah. It's already on the ground. And are there more? I don't think that there, yeah, there's no more speakers up here because there are no more cables up here. You should get the horde out. We did. That's how we cleared this place. Now, I think you have to repair this one and use some scrap. So we'll do that pretty early on so that we can then go around and pick up scrap while we're looting the bodies, too. Of course. <laughs> Selby Miser says, does anyone know if the pancake house in the game also makes waffles? And if so, what kind of toppings would y'all get? Um, breaker jizz? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> It's just whipped cream, but we call it breaker jizz. Uh, all right, we need fuel. Yeah, Richard, I hear you, man. Um, yeah. Uh, shit, YouTube Premium might actually be worth it, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where's a damn fuel can around here? Isn't it right up here by the gate somewhere? Am I just blind? Just don't remember. Yeah, right there by the gate. Here we go. <laughs> it's too much, Spawny. Too much. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, somebody wanted to make a drink called Breaker Jizz. Here we go. That wasn't that wasn't my idea, man. I didn't do that. I didn't do that, man. Who said that? I don't remember. Look in the chat. <laughs> it's in there. It's it's documented now, unless they've removed the comment. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> trademarked 
Oh, that was you. Okay. <laughs> Do we have speakers on? No? All right. Uh, it's in here. Okay. Oh, but we need the friggin' fuse. Oh, gosh. Okay. For a second there, I kind of spaced out and forgot where the fuse was at this location. Like, I know where the fucking fuse is. I just wasn't thinking. My waffles. Hold the breaker jizz, please. Well, how about rager jizz? Can we do that instead? Why are you excited about that? <laughs> I don't know. Because this guy's excited about it. He's erect. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah. Well, wrong. Dude, like two feet that way. There you go. Off. Figures. <sighs> Fight the horde that's in the tunnel? No, we've already pulled them out. Uh, that's them right here. That's that pile of corpses we just walked past. I, I used those. I used the horde right. there to clear the uh, ambush camp. All right, so it looks like stamina is the next one. Yeah, Focus has been maxed out. So what did I say? Stamina? Yeah. Rager shit is a chocolate margarita. <laughs> uh, you. Well, we're ticking up there slowly with Wizard Island. It, it seems like it really takes a while to hit level two with this area, but basically you just need to clear the map. The ambush camps, infestation zones, Nero checkpoints, a couple of hordes maybe. Once you've done that, you'll have level two with, with that area. Maybe a camp job or two. <clears throat> I'll have pineapple on pizza, but I draw the line at breaker jizz. Fair enough. Okay, the time here... It is now 3.40, so let's go ahead and camp. And Well, no, 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 no. I want to go ahead and r run around and loot. We'll camp before we leave. Let's go loot this place. Oh, good. We can do some crafting because we've picked up some uh, gunpowder. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good location to get gunpowder. Uh, there are two or three samples of gunpowder here. There's a good bit of scrap here, stuff like that. Oh, that's a breaker out there killing other stuff. Oh, what the hell. Let's get that ammo. I rarely ever pick up ammo in this game. might be planning to come in here with me. Oh, I see him. Now there he is. Ah, uh, yes. Good loot here. This is another reason for clearing the ambush camps and the Nero checkpoints is quite simply all of the crafting materials that you can pick up at some of these places. It's really, really great having these spots where this kind of stuff respawns. Here's the guy who spotted me initially. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else worth picking up? I think there's more stuff up this way. It's outside the gate there, but there's a little bit more around this tent, and I think we're about done at this location.
Mm, there we go. Let's get back up to uh, the bed over here. Camp until first light and move on clearing this region. Mm, we'll go ahead and use the ammo locker here as well. Because that's really useful for keeping stocked up in the field. There we go. I'm just going to grab some shots. Wait, what are we sharing on the Discord that people may not join for? And had Hmm? Don't I don't want to know. Okay, well here's a link to the Discord anyway. It's like Mother says, I hear a bunk calling my name. I hear some spunk calling my name. Breaker spunk. You ever do that thing where you repeat stuff and just insert words that rhyme and make it really perverted and dirty? No? Well, I do. Sorry. <laughs> All right. How we doing? How we doing? It is first thing in the morning. And, I mean, we have a story mission here, but I don't really... I guess I could do it while I'm there. I mean, why the hell not? We are trying to get uh, shit. It's uh, what? I want trust. Twenty-seven fifty trust with diamond, diamond. No, it's Diamond Lake. I don't want trust with Diamond Lake right now. I want trust with Wizard Island. But while we're in the neighborhood, we'll probably do it anyway. Oh shit, we we did forget a nest. There's one more crier nest down there. Dang it, we gotta go grab this crier nest. See, that's why you clear the ambush camps first and then do the infestation zones. So you don't end up over double working yourself clearing the infestation zones. We gotta go back and clear one more nest. Dang it, Junior. I messed up. Now you do that too. <laughs> Nylon girl. Yeah, pretty much anything can be made dirty. Tactical stop. I really wanted to slow down going down that hill. <laughs> it's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, let's go back and get this fucking nest that we missed. Ooh, we need fuel, too. We'll grab some fuel here in a little bit. This will still last us quite a ways. Raider patrol. Damn it. I really wanted to get him on that jump. I don't even care. Like, I don't even want the bounty or the whatever crap loot he had on him. Let's get back on track. There it is. Okay. Another nest. Let's go. There we go. That it? Okay, that's all of them. Now we can go, and where we are headed is, yeah, basically right there. Gary Cox, have I said hello to Gary? Uh, Gary, I apologize. I think I remember seeing your name pop up in the chat earlier, and I failed to say hi at the time. Sorry, bud. Hi, welcome in. All right, let's go. Can we make this jump here? Let's just do this. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Let's 
So there are a couple things I like to do here. I like to come on in here. Take this damn suppressor off of here so I can quit wasting it. What do we... Oh, there's a nest over there, yeah. So we need to top off fuel a bit. But I like to just kind of go ahead and do everything while I'm right here. Uh, we'll even move the truck so that when we come back for the story mission here, that's a little bit easier too. That is not what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Gotta be so yeah, when you hear that prior make its cry, that's when you dodge. But you've got a few seconds, you know, half a second or so. I smell it. Uh, gotta be getting close. See how many we can get. Put it right in between them. We might be able to get two or even three sometimes. Looks like it did not rain down onto the other nest. So we'll use one more Molotov to get the bottom two. That should take care of it. No more in this area. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the criers killed you a bunch on your first playthrough. Yeah, yeah. That that they do give an audio cue for when it's time to roll, and it will be that that little cry that they do. And it's good to come in here early as well because there are some crafting materials in here. There was a can right there. I think there's like a spark igniter or something in here. Maybe, you know, a couple other items. Bandages, stuff like that. Oh, two cans. Nice. You know, a little bit, of, little bit of stuff in here to pick up. And you can move this truck out of the way. And it doesn't really do anything, but when you come here for the mission, it gives you an easier way in. Uh, you can just go right in and also during the mission you're kind of under pressure like so it's really annoying when this alarm goes off and you can have that taken care of Shut up, Jesus. oh you didn't know about the nest so you didn't know to clear those nests in order to make the criers fuck off I hear you yeah All right, so let's go get this next Nero injector. I think health is going to be our next upgrade. Oh, shit. Runners normally spawn right here in... Runners? I've never had runners spawn right there in the entrance. That actually caught me by surprise. I've never had them spawn right there at the entrance. Usually once you start moving in, a runner or two will spawn. And then you have all the runners inside the cave as well. Oh, I hate this area, man. I hate runners. Another bounty. All right. Let's make a fucking save, man, and then we'll go in. All right. Now I want to try to position the bike a little better. I actually wanted to put the bike in place for the next mission and then get started. Uh, for the next phase of the mission, rather. I think it's what? Right down here. The rager spawns right in here. Here's your cave where you come out. So what I like to do, since the rager spawns down here, I like to just put the bike where I can roll out of the cave. I come straight out of this opening in the cave up on the bike and then fuck off on my merry way. So let's go get that Nero injector first. And I think we said it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. God, I'm so turned around. I hate this place. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> what are we doing? Health. Yes, Nero injector. Mm. Gary, I see your comment there about getting better at the dodging. Play Lies of P. You'll get better at fucking melee, all right? Yeah. 
like the gunplay in this game, the ranged combat, I've all that's been natural to me since I first started playing. But the melee, man, I don't mess with melee in this game. I really don't. I rarely ever use melee in this game. But I did get better at it with uh, playing Lies of P. Should have taken the shot. <laughs> timing. Again, timing. We're about to die. We're about to die right here in this fucking hole. Oh, wait, we do have a... Can I get... Give me... Please give me the med kit. Calm. There we go. Slow is steady and steady is fast. That's how it's done. And all those shotguns. That's another way it's done. Fucking auto shotguns is another way it's done, I said. I hate this mission, dude. I always fuck this mission up. I'm good at this stuff. Always fuck this mission up. This one is rough. All right, let's see if we can do any better moving forward. Now that we've made our entrance, let's see if we can do any better pushing up. I may actually try out other Souls-like games. I, um... Elden Ring has been highly, highly recommended by several people whose opinion I trust. Uh, so, it may be. Might be an Elden Ring playthrough in my near future. We know that The Last of Us 2 is coming up next. Uh, but I don't know what's after The Last of Us 2. That's how it's done. See, I just need to slow down. I do that all the time. I run in fucking hot and heavy, hard and fast. End up fucking up for myself. I should have just slowed down. Squeeze through here. Slow is steady and steady is fast, right? Fuck your rager bear. I don't feel like spending 125 credits replacing the ammo to kill it. Eek, there's a bridge there. Alright, what's next? If we go north, we have some more crier nest we can take care of real quick. Another fucking rager? It's like, no, you are gonna fight a rager today, dude. <laughs> no, we're not. Not on purpose. Oh, we went the wrong way, didn't we? Brain. I know better. Let's blow through a few more Molotovs here. Nest. Gotta be right around here. Mm. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Oh, there's another one. Time to burn.
Hmm. Wait a minute. That said we got trust with Diamond Lake. I thought everything on this side of the map was trust with Wizard Island. And shit on this side of the map is Diamond Lake. Is it giving all of my fucking trust to Diamond Lake when it should be going to Wizard Island? Interesting. And that story mission down there is Diamond Lake as well. Alright, well, let's keep going. Uh, there are Nero injectors to get. I really want this last Nero injector, but I don't want to do this mission for Weaver. I wanted to leave that mission on this playthrough. We're going to leave it for... Uh, uh, we're going to leave it till it goes away. I want to see what happens. Because it's always felt like a story mission. Like, you have to go get the Cinnabar for Weaver. He asks you to go get Cinnabar, and there's conversations about it later, too. So what happens if you don't get the Cinnabar? And we can go get the Nero Injector at any time. After that mission goes away and we see what happens there, we can go get that Nero Injector later. I don't mind being short one Nero Injector for a while. It would likely just go to health anyway. Ooh, I need to take a break here in a minute. I can see that my driving is getting sloppy, so it's about time to shut it down and take a break for a minute. Gameplay was a bit sloppy earlier, too. I try to be aware of that stuff when I start getting fatigued, you know? So we'll get up here to this Nero injector, and then we'll go on break for a minute. Let you guys have a little intermission. Go top off your break, top off your drinks, use the potty, things like that. I don't recall if the horde is here yet. Probably. I guess we should go in quieter, huh? Quasimoto! What's up, Quas? How you doing, bud? Hey, there's a horde in there. I don't really feel like messing with that Mount Bailey horde right now with the current load up. With the current loadout. Especially before I go on break. Let's not do that before break. We'll do horde killing later. Right now we're clearing ambush camps, infestation zones, and Nero checkpoints. And the next one goes to maxing out stamina, right? No. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to max out stamina anyway. Nero had all the good shit. Done. Scary Cox, putting the kettle on? What you making? <laughs> My abuelita has fainted with that grilled cheese comment. Run to the bike, make a save, take a break. Check. <laughs> My abuelita some one time slapped a bear, man. You better you better look out for abuelita. She slapped a bear, Holmes. Walk five steps, didn't die, make a save. All right, guys, we're going to go on break for just a minute, so three to five minutes. We've only got about an hour left anyway, so uh, do stick around because we do have about an hour left. Uh, all right, we're going to pop out for just a few, and we will see you when we get back.
thought this was someone. Bunch of murdering sons of bitches. You like the set up ambushes, yeah? Son of a bitch. That's the last of it. Uh, guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Oh, we look like the type to have another ground bunker. Yeah?
You're murdering sons of bitches. You like to set up ambushes, yeah? I believe we're back. Hello, and welcome back in, everybody. Are y'all ready to play some more Days Gone? Well, obviously. Let's go, then. All right, so what are we doing? Where are we at? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Who are we doing? Why are we doing them? Uh, all right, we're not going to do this mission. We'll hold off on that last Nero injector. No biggie. We've cleared all of the ambush camps, Nero checkpoints, and infestation zones in this area. We have cleared all of the ambush camps in this area, but we cannot get to the narrow checkpoints or infestation zones just yet until we do the uh, <clears throat> until we do the story missions to get us into here. So at this point, I usually go do story missions to get us into here. Uh, how are we doing on? Still need like eight thousand trust with Wizard Island. To get to level two there. I don't have enough bounties and meat for that. So we might as well just push forward with the story until we can get into there. We could go kill a couple of hordes there. Well, there, yeah, we were just at the Mount Bailey horde. But I don't think there are even enough hordes in the area to get me to, uh, we're going to hit that truck. Yeah, I don't think there are enough hordes in the area to get me to level 2 with Diamond Lake either. Where do I actually go to get in this motherfucker? It is this one. Right No fuel. I'm kidding. Yay, I got it. Open up. Together. Keep it together. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Geek. How's my favorite corporal doing today? Hey, yes, Sarge. Yep, that one comes highly recommended. Good choice. Okay, Good choice. topped off mm. those. Topped off that. Oh, okay. let's top off that. Okay. Yeah, right on. Okay. See you, Corporal. Corporal St. John, what are you up to? Yeah? Sarge. Okay, then. Uh, fix her up, yeah? C Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Move, move, move. Captain, I find your right. man, Anderson. In James Guam! Welcome in, James Guam! What's up, man? Yeah, you should not have been suspended when they approved the time off. That's kind of fucked. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right, what's next? Go, go, go! You gotta move your ass! You think you're gonna... Nothing, game over the end. Hey, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes. Moving, sir. Well, Corporal Deacon Saint. What's the time? Yeah. Past noon, let's camp. Hold on, I got this. You hold on, I got this. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit.
That is one way to deal with it, Nylon Girl. That is one way to deal with it. At least for a little while. Ooh, James, that's a good suggestion. Have Days Gone Common bend. Have it in Oregon. We may do that one year. I would say as the event grows in time, it may be feasible to do it there. Um, <clears throat> something like that would probably require uh, some sort of fundraiser or shit first, though, to be honest. Because Denver, that's just a couple hours from the house, man. We can we can do a weekend in Denver uh, for the channel, uh, for Days Gone Calm type stuff. We could do that. But uh, a weekend in Oregon, shit, I don't know if we could get there, to be entirely honest. Uh, I don't know how easily we could get there for it. Plus, I'm Bend, I'm sure they have airports and shit, but Denver, we have an international airport right here in town in Denver. <coughs> Excuse me, so that's another reason for us to hold it there. No, really, how do we get the next story mission? Corporal St. John. There it is. Taylor to Deacon in St. John. Taylor, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, militia friendlies. Up the highway. 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? <laughs> I know that. Like some cover. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit! I gotta run. They're they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. God damn it! Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. There he is. He was bugged into the wall. Yeah, <clears throat> it would be a milestone. Absolutely. That would be a milestone trip. I mean, we took a Days Gone inspired trip to Oregon. Uh, Claire and I went uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Had a wonderful fucking trip. Uh, I proposed on the rim of Crater Lake. Uh, she said yes, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I got to, got to take my girl up to the rim of Crater Lake and fucking pop the question up there, man. Let's go, open up. Incredible experience. Uh, while we were in town, uh, Ben Studio was uh, kind enough to invite us up. And uh, we got a little tour of the place. You know, they're they're not like open to the public or whatever. It was invite only kind of thing. Uh, but they did walk us around a little bit, show us like the break room where they have some cool shit set up in there. Uh, Claire got to sit on the drifter bike. We have pictures of her sitting on the drifter bike. And we have pictures of both of us uh, in front of like a massive statue of a rager bear. Fun times, man. So, I mean, it would be cool to go back for something like Days Gone Calm. Uh, for like a community, uh, a fan community event. But, uh, yeah, for now, Days Gone Calm is going to be in Denver. So we have a nice convenient location right there at, uh, right there beside an international airport. I've just spoken with the colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, I guess you could call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. It's a bit far for you, Gary. <laughs> 7,500 kilometers. Their errand boy for now. Actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making 
the supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. Could have told me we were going this way earlier. I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. I should have known. God, I should know what order the missions come in by now. Tactical stop. Ooh, almost had another tactical stop. Rager Bear. No, nope, no thank you. Not today. Unsubscribe from Rager Bear. Unsubscribe from all Rager Bear notifications. Oh, wait, look out. Brain. Dude, I suck at this game. I should probably stop playing. And here's what I was talking about, uh, about being able to pretty much just walk right in. Boop. Oh, no, I'm at the wrong spot, aren't I? This is where we get silicate. This isn't the right place. This is where we get silicate, silly. Yeast is at the other spot. Why did y'all tell me I was going the wrong way? You probably told, totally told me I was going the wrong way, didn't you? Colorado is also lovely. I mean, now I'm going to tell you, uh, Oregon is fucking lovely. So it would be cool to have uh, Days Gone Calm in Oregon sometime. But uh, Colorado is beautiful, man. And you can see you can see the mountains really well from well, pretty much anywhere in Denver, honestly. Especially any hotel where you can like get up a couple floors. You can see the mountains really well. Shit, I can see Pikes Peak from my backyard, and we're two hours away from Denver. <laughs> you love watching the tactical stops? Yeah, I know. <laughs> my bike doesn't love them, but I still get a kick out of it. Line? No, never mind. Spaz out for a minute there. No. Also, unsubscribe from Screamer. Ah, oh, yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You're looking for your next easy crap. Somebody's trapped. They got help! Help! I got this. I got Wizard this. Island. Out here. Look, there's a camp. camp. Oh, you dug Oregon a lot. Yeah, I hear you, Richie. Right on, yeah. Wizard Island. There's a little boost there. There's a militia camp on Wizard Portland Island. is fun. We didn't go to Portland while we were up there. I was done for. We really didn't go into any big towns. Bend was like the biggest town I think we went into. And we were there for a reason. <laughs> Send him to Copeland's camp. Send him off to Tucker. <laughs>
visitor center. That's gotta be it. And now, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? Got it. Yeast, yeast. Here it is. Yes. I hope this is enough. And we're done. St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form. The yeast, there wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Well... Oh my god, why is Sarah such a bitch? My god, it's a bitch. My god. Or whatever. <coughs> I sure would like to get to level 2 with this camp. So I can get my BFG. I have 33 minutes to get the BFG. I don't think we're going to make it tonight. Some of these story missions can take a bit. Yeah, why doesn't she love him anymore? It just makes me so mad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even. Sarge. It's a whole group of them on the roof. Hey, you want it? I got it. Oh, yeah. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Corporal St. John, you stay safe, yeah? Would you stop doing that, please? <clears throat> I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know where to No, no, one. I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. And he meant that one. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> I need 4% for the next level up. Not that I really need the skill point. About halfway there. Okay. 
All right, well, what do we have next? No, no. Set them over there. Thank Up you. The hill. Corporal St. John. This is Dr. Jimenez. I know. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. I'm already here. Uh, something Let me wrong. in. You need something? Let me in, man. I'm at the door. I want to check on that arm. I'm here. Arm, my, my arm's fine, Doc. See, I'm here. Let me in. From a wood stove. It's not in the well, let me in. I'll show you. You want la infection? See? You come see me. Let me in. in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. It's not going to open. It's <laughs> still locked. Will I have to go the other way? Oh, there we go. There it hey, is. Doc. Okay. Come in. Send us it. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> I read that as bayonet. <laughs> Robert England. What's up, man? Ah, oh, you're not too late. We still go for oh, we'll be going for another 20, 30 minutes or so for sure. What's up, man? No me mientas. Look, I spent twenty years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and everything. I don't think we're gonna have time to do much more tonight though. Uh I go kill a horde or two. Nope. I really want to get to level two with Wizard Island so I can get my BFG, but I don't think we're going to have time tonight. Not by doing story missions. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. Oh, yeah. New Orleans, Louisiana. Last time I was in Louisiana, uh, my uh, at the time girlfriend and I, we wanted to get some good Cajun food while we were in Louisiana. And uh, I just happened to see a... Uh, a fire truck parked in uh just outside of cvs or something like they had obviously just parked and run in the store for something and uh i stopped and i talked to the uh guys working the fire truck and because if anybody knows where the good food is locally anybody knows where good local food is it's your cops your emts your firefighters folks like that those are always the people that know where the good grub is locally so I saw that fire truck sitting there, and I know we I knew we wanted to go get some good lunch. So I was like, all right, let me go hit these guys up. And I went over there, and I talked to them, and they recommended this little place. I think it was called Papa Do's or something. Because I asked him, I was like, look, if you, let's say you had some family in town, and you wanted to take them for some really good, like, local mom-and-pop place Cajun food, where would you go? Uh, and they recommended that spot, and, dude, we, we loved it. Uh, I, I've only been back through there once and I made sure to stop there that time too. Cause it was damn good. Yeah. The crawfish etouffee there was so fucking good, man. God, it was good stuff. Yeah. Papa Do's is just a chain, uh, which interestingly enough, but it really was quite good, man. We were really pleased with it. All right. Let's see. We got a skill point. I don't really have much I need to do with it, honestly. Which one is this? Focus cocktails? Oh, why not? Might go kill some hordes for a minute. We'll look up which hordes are available. And uh, go track them down. See, John, come in. Taylor, take it Here's another story mission. Taylor. I think this story mission doesn't take very long. We might actually do this one next. Yeah, you know Papa Doe. Okay, well, they are just a chain then. Anyway. Just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got I think the thing about it is since it was the Papa Doe's in Louisiana, like, I mean, it was Shreveport, uh, not New Orleans, but still, it was the Papa Doe, a Papa Doe in Louisiana. I guess they like, like, they actually know how to cook Cajun food around there. Is that was some good shit, man? Switching to a private channel. Hold on. I think I got a gumbo and uh some kind of just like a like like spicy rice that had some crawfish etouffee on it. The biscuits were incredible. It's like really really good stuff. Texas barbecue, man. Yeah, I've never had Tennessee barbecue, but Texas barbecue, that's where it's at, homie. 
I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Uh, Richard, uh, Richard Cranium, you have a business trip coming to New Orleans, Louisiana. Right on, man. Gumbo stream win. <laughs> no shrimp po' boy? No, I didn't get the shrimp po' boy. <laughs> Play this game drunk sometime? Well, shit, brother. Cheers, I'm doing it right now. I'm not actually drunk. I've, I've been sipping on this for like the entire stream, this one shot here. Corporal, man of the hour. Hey, Sarge. All right, so we have a story mission down here. It's, we still can't fast travel there. Can we fast travel? Oh, awesome. I play it sober sometimes. Do it. It's right up the hill. There's a rager or something nearby. St. John, D. Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. I'm switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Let him finish this dialogue. Uh, hey, so dirty I'm rice. Right yeah, it was like some dirty rice with uh, some crawfish etouffee on it. Oh. Dude. That shit was good. Hi. <gasps> Better made popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, babe. Thank you. Mm. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. More? Mm, okay. okay. Love you, babe. Thanks for the popcorn. All right, well, you guys get to watch me like... Hmm? Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys get to watch me crunch on popcorn for like the next five minutes. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Blame it on Claire. Uh, Lieutenant. I don't know. Not my problem. <laughs> silicate. What the fuck is silicate anyway? Come on, boy. Don't give up on it. <laughs> I have my fucking Oreos. Yay! <laughs> if I look up, that's the first thing I see in the chat. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down. I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> Rice that's been on the floor? Yes. That. On the floor full of spices. You shit. And meat and other delicious things. Oh, hello. Not full of ears, though. None of that. No ears, no scalps, no nothing. Out of here. Yeah. Come on. Uh, uh, what do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. <laughs> Didn't we already do a bounty on somebody for trying to do that exact same thing? Not here at this camp, but still. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. We we can snipe from these bushes, right? I'd rather be doing this with the BFG, but oh well. One thing I don't like about the Talon 7 is the way it drains your focus because while you're cycling the action while you're using the lever action of the or of the lever on the rifle while you're doing the thing on the rifle that doesn't count as reloading a magazine so the skill that lets you reload a magazine without burning focus doesn't count there while you're still in focus to cycle the action on the rifle you're still burning focus there's a couple more, but we're going to go ahead and push up. I'm going to get this one done pretty quickly. Knock out a few missions before <laughs> before bedtime. Are there any more? Probably. I don't think I did a very good job clearing the place. Should be another supply run soon. Yeah. Here we go. Let the freaks have them. See if I care. That's the last of them. I just gotta. Well, they died warm. Popcorn time.
That did it. Kill him. Kill him! Oh, man! No, no, it's... I can't do it! Please, man. How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. Now, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. We go. We're getting closer to level two. Let's go in. We should go ahead and get these corpses. Crafting materials are important down here. This is Corporal St. John, come back. This is Curry. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 um... I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. Jesus. Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? He's... Yeah, he's gonna live. No, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send the docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Curry out. That's a bear. I'll take that one. <clears throat> there we go. Hey John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. I just wanted to let you know that the colonel gives an informal talk. Oh, a colonel that gives fireside chats. Uh, yes, sir. Now, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Use everything. Deacon, are you there? Deacon. I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Being here like this. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, it's a pretty cool hat. Okay, alright. Now I gotta get back to work. This yeast is ready to fill up with half a dozen petri dishes. Okay, save me. Yeah, save me some of those viral proteins. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Hey. Taylor. How you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it, it hasn't. <sighs> okay, uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later. See how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. Better be out here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I see it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? Dig it out. Captain Corey, this is Corporal Russell. Come in. Move back, damn it. Move. You heard him. Pull back. Pull back. Sir, we were on a supply run trying to get the Shemult, and we ran into the biggest goddamn horde you've ever seen. Damn it, move your asses, come on! Move! You heard the corporal! The corporal, listen to me very carefully. Get your men out of there. 
We are not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir. You don't gotta tell me twice. Russell out. Come on, move it! Let's go! Pull it out! Let's go, go, go! Corporal St. John, report to me in command. No. I don't Colonel want Garrett. to. Yes, I'm like right busy there. or something. And stuff. And we ran into a tent in the middle of a field. Tactical stop. And at least there's a bandage right there replace the like five or six points of damage we yes. took <laughs> this looks like the spot. now we're supposed to be here maybe up here. a mom and pop store oh, what the hell is this No backpack thieves. Thank you. Bag of silicate. Let's go. This will work. Okay, now I just gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, we just did. Now, when I return this to her, does that automatically start the next mission? Like where we go out to the college or something? Because I actually kind of don't want to do that just yet. Oh, uh... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Yeah, them tents are fucking sturdy, man. That's that's the sturdiest tent I've ever crashed into. St. John, the document is. Come back. Oh, St. John. How's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that you gave me, it's some... Yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, I'll see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? Well, I know him as well as Tactical I know stop him. while we're nom on popcorn. I don't know, I'm just, uh, Dude, like, I'm you can get off of the tree now. You, you actually can get off of those trees Lieutenant now. Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um... He's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh... In a minute, when I grab my bike, let me in. <laughs> Do you have lots of experience crashing into tents? Well, I have a lot of experience crashing. So, there's that. And I have crashed in a few tents, if that counts. <laughs> All right. Now, I am afraid once we turn in this bag of silicate, doesn't that like auto start the next mission yeah. with Sarah? Sorry. Like where we go to the college or something? Because I, I actually don't want to yeah, do that just sense. yet. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal, you stay out of trouble, you hear me? Hey, Corporal. Sergeant, how's life? Okay. Hey, Corporal. All right. See you later. Well, folks, I think that's actually about enough for me for tonight. I really wanted to get to level two, but I'm just, we're not going to make it in like 10 minutes.
It does not auto start that mission. Are you certain? Let's make a save game, which we just did, and we'll test it. Move along, buddy, move along. Random ads again. God damn it. Guys, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with the ads. I promise I did set it to only have one mid-roll ad that I put in myself. I don't know why it's doing that to y'all, man. I I promise I set it up differently. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Okay. Lieutenant. What's that all about? <sighs> Nothing. It's just... Yeah, because if we're not locked into the next mission, then uh, we can go ahead and do this and wrap up. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. <sighs> yeah, fuck him. Here. <laughs> what now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisitions. Stick man! What's up, buddy? That's what you think this is. Welcome in, man. I'm doing is just that. bullshit. No. Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close. So close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's going to take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... Are you getting erectile dysfunction ads? <laughs> yeah, Deke is being thick-headed. He's being thick-headed. I appreciate your help. Yeah, I know you. All right, it did not lock us in. Oh, and it did get us so damn close. Let's go dump some fucking meat and bounties and see if we can get level two here real quick. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition mm. form yet? Nice home. I see you doing Made it. the witch almost every day. <laughs> I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right. Polystyrene. PFG. Yes, please. It, a that's all I need. On Highway 97, South Shamo, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not. I remember. Look, I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care about the chopper, really. I mean, chopper's cool and all. I don't need it. All right. Well, we got the BFG, man. Woo, woo. I'm glad I went in there and turned in that mission so we could hit level two there. Let's make another save game so that we have a more current save <clears throat> right there with the BFG on our back. Yeah, we're going to have some fun in the next episode. Now, the only problem is we've cleared all fucking ambush camps, but whatever. That's how we got to level two. Hmm. You like the combat shotgun? Yeah, that's a good weapon. I just I gotta have the uh the, the auto shotgun is really the only primary for me. It really is. All right, folks. Uh, let's do a little wrap up here. We do have some stuff going on. We have the members only co op gaming sessions going on right now. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, you folks should get in on that. If you're currently a member, you should get in on that. Uh, if you want to become a member, you can get in on that. So there you go. Uh, we, we'll be playing Wreckfest first. That's next weekend. I don't actually know the link to put in the chat to uh, for you guys to have the information on that. I'm sorry. I actually don't have the link for that. We should, we'll get that programmed into the stream deck here because we really use the stream deck a lot. We need a bigger stream deck. Claire has done so many optimizations on this thing. We have so much stuff programmed into the stream deck now that we need a bigger one. Uh, anyway, members-only co-op sessions coming up real soon. 
Um, <clears throat> next Saturday, we're doing Wreck Fest, and we'll do more later, too. I'm sure we'll do some Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, a lot of members of the community playing uh, Stickman 2. Uh, Stickman, I'm sorry, brother. I'm looking at your name there. The Division 2. A lot of people playing The Division 2, so I've been curious about that one myself. Might look into that. And we've got other stuff. Wreckfest. Wreckfest is on there. You know it, Joe. We love that one. We played that at Days Gone Calm together. Um, so, yeah, we got that coming up. We have, uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, geez, I'm probably supposed to have another announcement. Let's put the Days Gone Calm info in there. If anybody is interested, if things come up where you can actually make it. We are having a, an in-real-life get-together for members of this community, my channel and Claire's channel, uh, the Days Gone fan community, though you don't have to be a fan of Days Gone. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, come on up to Denver or down to Denver, over to Denver, whatever, where, from wherever you're at, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll hang out, man. We're going to get a hotel room, we'll get a suite, so we'll have a little space where we can entertain. Uh, we'll have a little uh, itinerary of events for us to go do together, whoever's interested in that. And um, we also schedule everything out so you have free time in the mornings to either sleep in and enjoy your vacation or go explore Denver because Colorado is fucking amazing. Uh, they also have legal cannabis here if like you're into that or whatever. Uh, but anyway, um, so members only co-op gaming sessions, days gone calm. I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? There's probably something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and we'll be starting on Monday. We'll be starting the last of us part two remastered. Let's see what they did different with the remaster i really do want to take a second look i want a fresh look at the last of us 2 i feel like this is a fair enough way to do it you know uh let me give a shout out to my channel members i'm not going to go through the list right now because it's just too darn long and we just added a whole bunch of new members uh memberships getting gifted all the time i love to see it bringing new folks in uh, so I, I do owe a sincere thank you to everyone. We had some good chats, some uh, super chats tonight. Um, so we, we, we did good tonight. I really am so glad that I have this opportunity to share this game with this community and share our passion for this game. Thank you all for helping me keep this going. Thank you to all of my the single contribution supporters, all of my members. You guys really are where it's at, man. I I, if you heard the rant earlier, then you know how much I hate to say it. You know how much I hate that YouTube makes it necessary. But you guys really do make it possible. We don't do this for the money. The money is what makes it possible to do this. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you, everybody. Love you guys. And good night.